Watch it guys, why is my laptop so slow? I get this question all the time and I'm going to show you how to fix the most common problem with old laptops and make your laptop faster. As you can see, this is a pretty old laptop. It's a Sony VAIO. The CPU in this laptop was released in around 2011. And you can see the hard drive light is working away there and it's super slow. And this is a really common problem with old laptops. People then upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and they don't have enough memory. They're using an old mechanical hard drive. And this is exactly what I think is inside this laptop here. It's probably got very little amounts of RAM. They've upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and it has a mechanical hard drive. So these are common problems that I see uh, today in 2022. It's been going on for many years. And you can see here, this is a pretty old laptop. It's a Sony Bio PCG 71911M. And this has a Pentium processor in here. It doesn't even have an i5 or an i3 or even an i7. None of that good stuff. It really is a pretty slow laptop. So the person that owns the laptop is 70 plus years of age. They don't really use the laptop too much, but they do want to have a much more enjoyable experience when they do use it. I suggested maybe get rid of it and buy a new one. But then I thought to myself, they don't do too much. Maybe we can try to drop in another four gigabytes of RAM because it only has four gigabytes in it. I then said that we could change the hard drive to an SSD. A cheap SSD would be perfect because you don't have to spend loads of money. And really, when you're dealing with old hardware like this, you really don't want to be spending vast amounts of money because you'll be just basically throwing your money out the window. So something like this uh, solid state drive will be perfect for this little laptop and give it a new lease of life. You can even go as far as replacing the CPU. This has an Intel Pentium B940 CPU, which isn't the best. It has two cores and two threads, but it does mean that we can upgrade this because in this laptop, it was born in a time when they were socketed and you can change the CPU to a different type of CPU, maybe an i5 or even an i7. You want to take a look at the TDP here, 35 watts. You want to try and keep in the same sort of TDP. You may need to flash the BIOS and hope for the best and hope that you will uh, get it to post and work because some of these laptops do allow you to upgrade. Now, I'm pretty sure that I would be able to get an i5 uh, 2450M in this uh, laptop because there was a model that had that processor in there and I could pick one of these up for $14.99 and this would definitely give this laptop a new lease of life but I'm going to hold off of the CPU and just use the SSD and the RAM to see how that goes first and I can always add a CPU in at a later date if that person wants it. They don't really want to spend vast amounts of money and I try to help them out and see if we can give this thing a new lease of life so they can uh, use it. So let's go ahead and remove the hard drive bay here. And I do like a time when laptops were made super easy where you could get access to the drive bay and also get access to the memory. And it made things a lot more easier. Sometimes you can even get access to the CPU uh, on some of these uh, uh, laptops of this period. So it made things a lot more easier. But nowadays we're moving into a direction where everything is surface mounted. The CPUs are, and they're even doing the memory nowadays and surface mounting that to the board as well. So what we're going to do here is remove this mechanical drive here. It's got a 320 gigabyte Western Digital mechanical drive. And this little mechanical drive, uh, as you can see here, 7th of August 2011 is when it was manufactured. And it's a pretty old drive. So we'll replace this little drive here with an SSD. Just need to remove it from its cage here. There's four screws that's holding it in and we can remove this and then put in a cheap SSD. The person doesn't need vast amounts of storage. All they want to do is be able to go on Facebook to connect with their family and surf the web a little bit. And that is it. So I've got a drive line around here and I'm just going to basically screw this into the hard drive cage and then put it back into the laptop. And then what we can do is upgrade the uh, memory and then we can go ahead and install Windows 10 again. And Windows 10, no matter what Microsoft tell you, does not run very well 
with four gigabytes of RAM, especially on an old system like this one. You're going to need at least eight gigabytes to make it a little bit more usable in 2022. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not using a high branded SSD like Samsung or one of those other manufacturers is because we're trying to keep the cost down and make it uh, usable. There's no need to spend vast amounts of money on something like this because it's a laptop that was created in 2011, which means it's pretty old. So with that processor still being the Pentium processor, it's not really worth spending vast amounts of money. Now, if you're going to drop a, an i5 or an i7 in this socket, and then you want to put uh, 8 gigs of RAM in it, which we've got now, I would advise you to put a better SSD in here, and it might serve you pretty well for many years to come. But for this person, they just want to use it for surfing the web. A cheap SSD will be perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and put the cover back on here and get this screwed down. And then we can take care of that extra RAM module and all we need to do here is remove the back panel for the RAM section here. It's just one screw in here. And we can remove this and then we can add in our extra four gigabytes of RAM. Now, I'm pretty sure that having an extra four gigabytes of RAM to this little laptop will be much better than having just one stick of four gigabytes of RAM running Windows 10. It's going to add a new lease of life and uh, it should speed things up when actually at the desktop, when you're doing things, when opening up browsers and things like that. So I went with this uh, Time Tech uh, RAM stick. You can pick these up around about 19 pounds odd on uh, Amazon. I'll leave the links in the video description if you're interested. And uh, we can add this extra RAM module here. And then once this is done, just clip it into position and we can put the cover back on. And then we can do our boot up test. Now I haven't replaced the CPU. I'm going to ask the person whether they want the CPU changed. If they do, then I'll, and I'll replace that CPU for them. So let's go ahead and power the laptop on and see how she fares. So let's go and push the power button. And that's now is flying across the screen because as you can see, the boot up time is massively different. It's, it does look a lot faster. We're already at the log on splash screen here and we're going to be at the desktop. How fast is that? That's a lot faster. And even just using the computer with that extra four gigabytes of RAM, it does seem a little bit more faster. So if you've got an old laptop and you want to give it a new lease of life, then consider changing the hard drive for an SSD and giving a bit more RAM. And if it does have a socket, maybe consider changing the CPU and you might be able to get a few more years out of that laptop. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this one. I think the person is going to be absolutely blown away by the performance difference on this compared to what it was before. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. We've got some new members on there. So welcome to the YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.